in energy channeling, you need to separate the energy from the external and the physical elements, right? And then you can't do that by clenching because if you clench it, you, you trap the energy. It's not that, it's not how we do energy channeling. So we allow whatever is getting in the way to open, meaning away from the midline, yeah? So we can isolate the primal force so we can lift. Internally, the sensation is narrowing and thinning and rising. Externally, it's opening and broadening. All right. And that brings me to the topic of, for example, what? Diaphragmatic breathing or the abdominal breathing in yoga. We call this a complete yogic breath. That when you inspire the breath in, the complete yogic breath, you will feel your abdomen walls open, the chest expand, but internally, yeah, you feel the sensation rise, like a thin line flowing through the line of your spine. Right? And in breathing exercises, the Jalandhara Bandha actually is the most active, so you can collect yeah, whatever is under or at the bottom to rise. And then by broadening, yeah, by broadening the windpipe, and dropping the jaw. Yeah, and you will feel here the hollow of the throat goes deep because you're drawing the sensation from the inside. That sensation actually comes from the hips. So the Jalandhara Bandha, this one, and the hollow of the throat, and the Mula Bandha, they are directly linked. Whatever is being sucked and drawn up here comes from there. All right. The folding of the head to the chest is just an additional support. It's not the main technique. Although it will help if you allow the head to passively, again, passively fold forward, not clench and tighten. Just allow it to relax. 